The first Crow Wing County baby of the new year was born yesterday in Brainerd at St. Joseph's Medical Center at approximately 424 AM. Parents say they traveled to the Grandview Lodge Resort to bring in the new year, but they were not expecting their baby's early arrival. Chantel Calhoun has the story. With both parents living in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and a month before their baby was due, decided to take one last trip before they became a party at three. We spent uh, we spent New Year's Eve with some friends of ours and, and their kids, and and then we got we got in the pickup in the morning and and drove down here to go to Grandview, and that's how we thought we were going to spend uh, spend New Year's, and obviously obviously Grace had a different plan. Grace Elizabeth Goble is her name, weighing in at 5 pounds, 10 ounces, and measuring at just a little over 18 inches. We liked Grace, and then Elizabeth is my middle name. And we decided, um, well, we didn't know whether we were having a boy or a girl, and we actually finalized our name picks on the drive up here. So I guess that's good we did that. With mom and dad pretty shocked with Grace's early arrival, the new parents are grabbing baby supplies as they go. When we realized baby was coming, I said, I'm not ready. We don't have things ready. This isn't this isn't going to be okay. But no, he did good. He actually ran out to, um, we weren't expecting labor to go nearly as fast as it did. And he ran out and got all our things from the resort, who was great with us about that yesterday. And actually made a quick run to Walmart to, we now have two car seats, but that's okay. Um, but no, he's been very supportive. He's been here the whole time. Reporting in Brainerd, Chantel Calhoun, Lakeland News. <laughs> And although the happy couple is ready to get back home to visit with their families, they discovered the nurse attending to their daughter is a distant relative, realizing they had family with them the whole time. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.